So since Star Wars Resistance Season 2 dropped a while ago, actually, I, I didn't get around to uh, watching it because I still had not finished Season 1. I made a video kind of talking about why I quit Season 1. But now it's time that I actually finish the whole season. And I'm just going to review the season. And then I will move on to the second season because it is the last season. And I'm going to be done with this series. So, my biggest problem with this show is it's trying to be a kid show. But it's also not trying to be a kid show. Star Wars Rebels and Clone Wars were kid shows. But they could be enjoyed by older people like you know, my age or an adult. Because plenty of adult Star Wars fans love those series, okay? But this show isn't like that. This show is freaking awful. Uh, with It has so many tonal issues. The last few episodes have some incredibly dark moments. There, It is... Uh, I'm going to kind of say some spoilers. Uh, so be warned. That's going to be all throughout this video. But it's literally stated that Starkiller Base killed Kaz's parents, our main character, and his home world. And then, they, and then they have stupid Niku. Niku is a terrible character. He is supposed to be comic relief, but he's freaking irritating. There's a whole episode about him being told not to speak, so he covers his mouth like he's trying to... Because he's an idiot. He's a retard. He doesn't do anything in this show but be a freaking idiot and a retard. I swear this character is mentally challenged. I hate this character. Kaz is not that interesting of a main character. And the, most of the season has a similar formula. Uh, no, like the same formula throughout most of the season. It's like the same episode almost every single episode. Kaz is told not to do something. He goes out on a mission to figure out a spy in the First Order. It goes haywire. Then he has to get out of trouble. It's the same episode every single time, and you can feel it. It gets irritating, it gets old, and you wonder why the characters are going through the same song and dance over and over again. This, this season should have only been like 13 episodes. That way they could have shortened the season down and only left it to the essentials and the plot story and focused on a story. Then the next season they could have had more episodes and because you can tell they want they they just want to make this season to get to the next one because that's how the season ends and it's a great ending. The last five or so episodes I think maybe maybe it's four. Um, are really good. They're really tense. They have a lot of drama. There's a great character moments. A lot of the season's plotline come together really good. And it's constantly on the... Uh, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. You're like... Every, with every single episode after that one, you're like, oh, crap. And it just keeps going. The momentum never stops, never lets up. But... But how can you have... This show that's trying to be a story-driven show. When kids don't watch story-driven shows. You know why most kid shows are comedies? It's because a cat, because a network can just air the show out of order and it wouldn't affect anything. That's why they make story-driven shows for older teens and adults. But they don't make very much of them for that reason. So this show is not just clear. This show is obviously not intended for children only. And it's really freaking stupid if anyone thinks that. Especially since this is created by Dave Filoni. Guy who created Rebels and Clone Wars. Clone Wars is an incredibly dark show. There are people who get murdered and stabbed and all kinds of horrible, gruesome deaths constantly. So, in that show. So, there's a whole plot line in that show about this bounty hunter killing four sensitive... Not killing. Kidnapping four sensitive children so they can eventually kill them. I'm not kidding. That's real. It's a, it's a great, it's a great group of episodes. Amazing. Um, 
Yeah, I love those the episodes. But, I mean, come on. Come on. Dave Filoni can do better. Also, this guy also worked on The Mandalorian and directed episode 5, the worst episode. But, he's done some great work. He's a, he's a really, really, really smart guy. Uh, he loves Star Wars. And I know he didn't kind of, I know he didn't write or, or, you know, put it in the show together. He kind of was busy with The Mandalorian. But, well... While the show was in production, but still, I mean, I still expect more from the show. It was disappointing, uh, at least this season was. Maybe season two is better because Rebels need an extra season to get better. Clone Wars need a couple seasons to start actually getting really good. You know, it it happens. I you know I'm just saying it's it's okay for the show to be in, eh, but in the first season, but this show is far worse than Rebels season one. Uh, because I will never rewatch this season. Uh, I mean, I feel the same way about Clone Wars season one, but Clone Wars had like seven seasons, has like seven seasons. So one good season doesn't really matter too much. This show only has two and it's canceled, which doesn't give me much hope for season two. But after this ending, I'm really excited to check that out. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I will tell you this. Uh, probably my next review will be Simpsons season nine. Uh, that season I have a lot to say about, surprisingly, which I haven't had to say about last few seasons of The Simpsons that I've been reviewed. Um, I also think that uh, the next Lego review will probably be Droid Tales if you're interested. Um, so yeah, disappointing. Not a bad show. If you have kids, you're, you're watching it with your kids. It could be fun, but it, it's it's. If you want to check it out, I, I guess I recommend it. But I think it's hard for me to recommend the show because of the fact that it is. I mean, because I haven't seen season two yet, right? So maybe season one not being very good is just season one, and then season two is really good, and then so it's like, yeah, watch that crappy season to get to the good season, but. I don't think so. We'll see what happens.